Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 Forsaken video. I finally have woken up from my hibernation and today I'm going to try my best to save you all as much time as possible if you're planning on completing the Mountaintop Pinnacle Crucible Reward questline. As always, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content, especially because the Black Armory DLC is right around the corner. Also, drop a like as it supports the channel, that would very much make my day. First off, let's talk about what you shouldn't do, and trust me when I say I'm a professional at doing things the wrong way. When reset hit yesterday, my plan was to go into the comp playlist and grind out all of the grenade launcher kills and medals while progressing my score up to the fabled rank, which is 2100. You need to get there anyways for the final step, so I thought I might as well do it all at the same time. I was totally wrong. The problem is that I had a pretty good team. I was running with Primal and we ended up going something like 34-1 and in terms of our win-loss ratio for the day. I got up to the Fabled rank within 5 or 6 hours, but the problem is I wasn't even a quarter of the way done on my Grenade Launcher Crucible Triumphs. This was a massive issue because at this specific rank or comp score, all you match is players that are very sweaty, especially this early on in the new season. Because of this, I really struggled to get the grenade launcher calculated trajectory medals or even the double kill medals. As a result, I was very frustrated and decided to go into the quick play playlist and try finishing it off there. This ultimately was what I did to complete the grenade launcher triumphs, but I swear on everything I was in there for a solid 8 or 9 hours even with a primary and heavy slot grenade launcher equipped. So now you know a little bit about what I did wrong. Let's now shift into what you should do for the easiest time completing this questline. Before I explain anything, you should understand two fundamental things. First off, the quest steps are 100% retroactive. This means you can complete any part of the quest first and have that quest step autocomplete later on once you actually get to that step in the questline. The second thing you should know is that the quest can be done across all your characters and progress will be saved. The reason why this happens on this quest and not on the Gambit questline for the Breakneck as an example is because it's a Crucible Triumph rather than an item with quest steps in your inventory. Yes, the Crucible one is also in your inventory, but the main part of the questline actually is a Triumph that you need to complete, and this is of course across all your characters. Okay, so go ahead and pick up the quest from Lord Shax on whichever character you prefer. And now, whether you're a noob, an average player, or an elite slayer, this is what you want to do first. Hop into the competitive playlist, solo. Yup, you heard me right guys, this is not a drill folks, hop in completely solo. Ideally, at this point, you're going to have little to no glory rank. This is ideal because you're going to be paired up against people no higher than 1000 points in the competitive playlist. You're also likely to face or team with lots of other solo players. The one goal that you have is to simply get regular kills, double kills or higher, and 3 kill streaks with a grenade launcher before dying. You should not care whatsoever about losing matches because that's going to actually increase your comp score and pair you against higher skilled players. This is a bad thing because it'll get a lot harder to get these challenges complete in the triumph. Now I want you to understand that by no means am I saying that you shouldn't try in these matches and that you should throw these matches. That's not cool whatsoever and if you're reported by multiple people for not trying or just basically you know throwing the match on purpose, you could get a competitive suspension so please do not be that guy. All I'm saying is that going into the playlist with a 4 stack and winning matches is not your goal at the moment in time. So let's break down the numbers real quick for this triumph. You're going to need a total of 75 regular kills using a grenade launcher, 40 double kills with a grenade launcher, and 25 calculated trajectory medals, which is basically getting 3 grenade launcher kills without dying. Now it's important to note that if you get a triple down or lights out or even higher than that with your grenade launcher, you get extra points and that'll get you up in percentage a lot faster. Now here's the real kicker. You can do this all in the quick play playlist as well but it'll actually require many more kills and medals. 
How many? Well, I'm glad you asked. 250 kills to be exact, 100 double downs, and 100 calculated trajectory medals. This is definitely doable, but it'll take you a long time. As I mentioned earlier, I had lots of progress when I finished competitive, and it still took me about 7 or 8 hours grinding this in the quick play playlist. That's why I'm recommending that you do as much of these steps in the triumph in the competitive playlist as possible. Now you're going to likely finish kills first, then the trajectory medals, and then the double downs last. So what you should do is focus on getting double down medals first with the grenade launcher, as it'll progress and the other two parts of the triumph will just follow suit. If you do the bulk of the lifting for this triumph in the comp playlist and get sick of it, you can simply switch over to quick play if you want to finish it off and get a little bit of a breather from the comp playlist because I do know after a while it could get very frustrating, especially when you're playing solo and you might be losing a lot of matches but again at this point in time losing if anything is kind of a good thing because you won't be paired against some of the very elite players and you know if you did get paired against those guys it would be almost impossible to be getting these medals completed. While you're doing all of these steps for the triumph, you're likely going to get to the brave rank which is fairly easy to achieve. I think it took me and my team only 4 wins in a row to get there so that's definitely achievable. Once you do get there, the quest in your inventory will update to say complete the triumph that you're currently working on. Alright, before we move along in this video and talk about the next quest step, I do want to cover loadouts and of course what type of perks you should be looking out for for grenade launchers. This is going to make your job a lot easier because your grenade launchers will be more consistent and you'll be getting kills more often than not. So this is the loadout that I ran, feel free to mix and match this as best as you can. So of course in the primary slot I was running the Malicious Birthright, this is a primary grenade launcher that takes special ammo and it is a nightfall exclusive weapon. If you like to farm for this weapon, you can simply do so by running the Lake of Shadows Nightfall. I don't believe it's active this week, but you can wait for any other week to get this thing. It was actually last week's Nightfall and I grinded and I got 8 or 9 of them and I had 2 very good rolls. Now in terms of the perks that you want to get on this grenade launcher, you're going to want to go for Ambitious Assassin and Rangefinder. Rangefinder will increase projectile speed while you're aiming down sights, and Ambitious Assassin will actually reload your magazine possibly to two or three grenades in your mag after you get a single kill and the best part is it's getting these extra shots basically out of nowhere it's free ammo so this is a very top tier perk and you should get it on your primary grenade launcher in the barrels you're definitely going to want to go for hard launch that is the best one because of the projectile speed and blast radius and finally you're going to want to get proximity grenades i tried out spike grenades but honestly on console you have to be the most accurate person with these to consistently get one shots to the body non-stop. I definitely recommend proximity grenades because they're a little bit more forgiving and they honestly felt a little bit more consistent for me. So go ahead and try getting a very good roll malicious birthright. It's going to help you very much. In the secondary slot, you're going to want to run a very reliable weapon. I was using the Not Forgotten, but of course if you have the Lunas Howl, that will do. And if you don't have either of those two weapons, I recommend picking up the inaugural address from your collections tab. This is a very strong pulse rifle and it can actually hang in the competitive playlists. It's also got some great perks like Kill Clip. And then finally, in your heavy slot, you're going to want to run a play of the game. This is everyone's go-to grenade launcher in the heavy slot. I wouldn't really recommend the colony or the prospector the colony is a decent option if you're somebody who maybe has a very shaky shot because it kind of is you know easy kills but for the most part it's going to be tough getting you know triples and quads with the colony people can simply jump over them and uh, sometimes they're not that effective against good players so for the play of the game it's a lot of the same stuff you want to get hard launch in terms of your barrel and then of course you want to get proximity grenades for the second column you're then going to want to get get a rampage and rangefinder roll but if you don't get that or don't have that from the forsaken loot pool if you didn't get that to drop you can simply go into your collections tab and pull out the play of the game from year one it's got some pretty solid perks and barrels on it and that'll do you just fine Fast forward a few days if you've been pacing yourself and you'll basically be done with this triumph and ultimately the quest step 
Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to achieve, and it's actually the final step of this quest, is to get to the Fabled rank in the competitive playlist. This will require 2100 score in the comp playlist, and this may sound like it may be a dead end for a lot of you players that may not be that good, but there's one thing that you might be forgetting. All the super sweaty players that went for legend in the first week will have already achieved their goals and they will hopefully with a tiny bit of luck on your side be out of your bracket for matchmaking throughout this whole process. You should now go ahead and find 3 more players who would like to get to the fabled rank and start playing matches. It's super important at this point in the quest to find people that do not need to use a grenade launcher and I'll explain a little bit more in a second here. This might sound super tough for a lot of you, but there's one key advantage that you have might have forgotten about, and that advantage is that you no longer have to use grenade launchers and focus on arbitrary tasks with this weapon. You can pull out your sweatiest loadout and take out all the teams that are struggling to adapt to the grenade launcher meta while leveling up their comp score. You have the ability to put on a Luna Howl and a God Roll Shotgun as well as maybe a 1k Voices or a Wardcliffe Coil, while other teams might be using the malicious birthright and a grenade launcher in their heavy slots. You may not realize it, but this is a huge advantage and you're going to be very thankful for this. Now that is basically it for the quest, once you get to Fabled, you are going to get this weapon, and honestly, it is pretty damn fun to use, so go out there and just have a great time. If you're looking for players to run competitive with, you can always join the Primal Community Discord. We have lots of active members on all platforms with a bunch of LFG channels for all platforms, of course. Now as always guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. My pain grinding this quest may have been severe, but at least I can hopefully help some of you guys out by avoiding the same mistakes that I made. If you enjoyed, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 Forsaken content. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.